Welcome back to the list of biosphere reserves and in this video we will have some more biosphere reserves and related informations. So stick to the video, keep watching, all the best. Kanchenjunga Biosphere Reserve which is considered as the only mixed heritage site in India as per UNESCO. The location borders with Nepal, Tibet and Bhutan and the state that falls in is Sikkim. The vegetation found here is temperate broadleaf and mixed forest, alpine grasses, shrubs and herbs. Flora found here is epiphytes and lianas. The protected area is Kanchenjunga National Park. The fauna found here is snow leopard, red panda, musk deer, Indian leopard, Himalintar, talking of the rivers here is Tamur River, Zemu Glacier, that is the source of the Zemu Glacier is, uh, that is the source for the Tista River and the tribe is Lecha. Agastya Malai Biosphere Reserve is located in the southernmost end of the Western Ghat. The states are Kerala and Tamil Nadu. The protected areas of this biosphere reserve are Nayar Wildlife Sanctuary, Sandurani Wildlife Sanctuary, Pepara Wildlife Sanctuary, Kalkad Mudutarai Wildlife Sanctuary. When we talk of vegetation here, we have tropical forest ecosystem, tropical wet evergreen forest, southwestern Ghat moist deciduous forest, southwestern Ghat mountain rain forest and cholas. Talking of flora, we have cardamom, jamun, nutmeg, paper, plantain. When we talk about fauna, we have nilgirithar, Asian elephant. River flowing through this biosphere reserve is Tamraparani River and the tribal group here is Kannikaran tribe. Achanakmar Amarkantak Biosphere River. Reserve. This biosphere reserve is located in Madhya Pradesh and the border of Chhattisgarh. The origin is River Narmada. We have some protected area which is Achanak Mar Amarkantak Wildlife Sanctuary. Here, Mekal Hills represents the confluence of the Vindhyan and Satpura range. Talking of the vegetation, we have tropical deciduous forest tropical dry deciduous vegetation. Talking of the fauna, we have cheetahs, sambar, basins, barking deer, panther, bear, tiger, wolves. And the river is Narmada, Johela, Son. The run of Kutch Biosphere Reserve, which is located in Gujarat. Or more precisely, we can say that it is located between the peninsula region of Kutch and Kathiawar in the state of Gujarat which range from 15 to 65 kilometers in width and 150 kilometers in length, which is having creeks, wetlands and tidal flats. We have a grassland found here known as Bunny grassland and also this is the largest biosphere reserve. The run of Kutch Lake has two islands that they are Pancham Island, Khadarbite. It is the largest salt desert in the world. There's a very strange dancing light phenomenon ha happens in the run of Kutch known as Chirbati, which is commonly uh, called as ghost light. It is a unique example of holocon sedimentation. The vegetation found here is semi-arid grassland. Protected areas are little run of Kutch, great run of Kutch, Kutch desert century, wild ass century. Talking of fauna, we have Indian wild ass, lesser flamingos, largest flocks of greater flamingos. When we talk about rivers, we have Luni, Rubain, Banas, and the tribal group are Agarya tribes. Cold Desert Biosphere Reserve, which is located in western Himalayas. The state is Himachal Pradesh. Area of terrestrial and coastal ecosystem. It lies in the rain shadow of Himalayas. Chandar, Tal, Kibir, Wildlife Sanctuary, 
Pin Valley National Park are the protected areas. Floras found here is herbs and shrubs. Fauna is Tibetan gazelle, snow leopard, Himalayan black bear, Himalayan brown bear, red fox and Tibetan wolf. Sheshachalam Biosphere Reserve. It is located in between Paliconda and Veliconda Hills. The state is Andhra Pradesh, that is the part of the Eastern Ghat. Tirupati is a major Hindu pilgrimage town here and it is famous for the sandstone and the minerals. Protected areas here are Sri Venkateshwar National Park, Sri Venkateshwara Wildlife Sanctuary, the flora found here is red sanders and red sandalwood. The fauna is slender loris animal, river is the, per the river Peneru, tribal group is Yanadis. Panna Biosphere Reserve. The state location is Madhya Pradesh. More precisely, it is Bundelkhand Plateau. We have Tiger Reserve of India here in Panna Biosphere Reserve. We have Kane Betwa Project related and Daudhan Dam. Vegetation is tropical and subtropical dry broadleaf forest belt, protected area. Panna National Park, Kane Gharial Sanctuary, Fauna is Bengal Tiger, Indian Leopard, Cheetal, Chankara, Nilgai, Sambadir. And the river flowing by is the River Kane. Mahindra Giri Biosphere Reserve, which is proposed by the Odisha government, second highest peak of Odisha after Deumali. The transition zone between flora and fauna of the South Indian Himalayas can be found here and the tribe related is Saura, Kandra, this is, this Kandra is a PVTZ. Apart from it, we have Thar Biosphere Reserve which is proposed. The location is Western Rajasthan. The fauna found here is Great Indian Bustard, Desert Cat, Vultures. Now, we have a special biosphere reserve which is considered world's five countries biosphere reserve. The name is Mura Drava Danube Biosphere Reserve. The locations are Australia, Solvents, Croatia, Hungary, Siberia. It is called as the Amazon of Europe. The largest Riverine project area of the continent. The fauna found here is white tailed eagle, black stroke, little tern. So, here we have done all the biosphere reserves, 18 biosphere reserves in India, two proposed ones, and the one important which is world's five country biosphere reserve. So, we have to be very particular about these. Apart from it, we have some previous year question related to these biosphere reserves, which we are considering in the first part of the presentation. So, have a look. You can download the PPT from the link given below. And also, you can follow the Eden IAS Telegram channel. The name of the channel is Eden IAS Official for the PPT. All the best for the preliminary examination. Stay tuned, subscribe to us and motivate us. Thank you. Hello students, welcome to Eden IS Miscellaneous Program in which we will be covering all those topics which we mostly miss before the prelims examination. So in this segment we will be covering environment and ecology and under environment and ecology we will be covering biosphere reserves. So let's start with the biosphere reserves. Biosphere reserves are the multi-purpose protected areas of terrestrial, marine and coastal ecosystem for both flora and fauna. When we talk about flora, flora refers to the plant life, fauna refers to the animal life. Biosphere reserve is an international designation by UNESCO for representative parts of natural and cultural landscape extending over the terrestrial, coastal, ecosystem or the combination of both. Biosphere reserve is an in-situ form of conservation and 
when we talk about in situ conservation which means on site conservation it came in existence in year 1971 as a part of the united nation educational scientific and cultural organization unesco's program that is known as man and biosphere program map map aims to establish a scientific basis for the improvement of relationship between people and their environments map is an initiative to combine natural and social sciences economics and the education to improve human livelihoods by equitable share of benefits now coming to the criteria for the designation of biosphere reserves there are certain points which we need to consider and those are protected area minimally disturbed and should carry the value of nature conservation core area must be biogeographical unit representing all the trophic levels and when we talk about trophic levels each organize occupies a particular position in a food chain depending on its feeding relationship with other organism now it is very important to note that the amount of energy decreases at successive trophic levels now coming to the third point that is involvement of the local communities and use of their knowledge now coming to the zones of the biosphere reserves there are mainly three zones of the biosphere reserves one is the core area second buffer zone third is the transition zone knowing about the core area it is an entirely secured and protected ecosystem that contributes to the preservation of the landscape ecosystem species and genetic variations talking of the buffer zone an area joining the core area utilization of training and scientific research and education talking of the transition zone it is an area where social activities can be performed to promote sustainable economic and human development if we know with this slide that how many biosphere reserves are there in india then there are total 18 biosphere reserves in india in which we have 12 biosphere reserves which come under the map program means man and biosphere program now coming to the largest biosphere reserve kutch is gulf of kutch is the largest biosphere reserve situated in gujarat or we can precisely say it is located between the peninsula region of the kutch and katiawar in the state of gujarat ranging from 15 to 65 km in width and 150 km in length having creeks wetlands and tidal flats now coming to the smallest biosphere reserve that is dibru saikova and it is situated in dibrugarh and tinsukia district of assam and the flowing river by this is brahmaputra in lohit coming to the first designated biosphere reserve that is nilgiri was designated in the year 1986 and the latest is panna that was dedicated designated in the year 2020 here we are going to provide you the number of and the name of the biosphere reserves which are under map or six those who are non map biosphere reserves so this is these are the name that you can see from the slide now i'm going to deal with the names of the biosphere reserves precisely with their states vegetation protected areas flora fauna river tribal group which are going to be very important for the examination and with this video you if you listen to it you will get benefited of nanda devi biosphere reserve it lies in the state of uttarakhand and it has also been considered as the world heritage site by unesco it is a unique transition zone between the mountain ranges of chanskar and the great himalayas renamed as the nanda devi and the valley of flower national park in the recent times the protected areas under this biosphere reserve are valley of flower national park and nanda devi national park vegetation when we talk about vegetation we have alpine meadows and dry deciduous 
Apart from it, flora is considered as fir, birch, rhododendron and juniper. Talking of fauna that is snow leopard, brown bear, Himalayan musk deer, mainland sea rose, Himalayan thar, goral. We have rivers Alaknanda and his, its tributaries flowing through this biosphere reserve including Rishi Ganga, Dhauli Ganga, Pushwapati and Kheer Ganga. We have we can take an idea of, to recall this as the name of the biosphere reserve is Nanda Devi. So Alak Nanda, so Nanda is common in between and we have Devi in the name of the biosphere reserve. So Ganga has been taken as uh, Devi in the Hindu mythology. So we can take it as Rishi Ganga, Dhauli Ganga, Pushwapati, Kheer Ganga and the tribal group is found here is Bhutia. No Creek Biosphere Reserve which is in the state of Meghalaya and is a mountainous area. We know that No Creek is the highest peak of the Garo Hills and it is a hot spot for the biodiversity in Meghalaya. When we talk of biodiversity hot spot, it is a biogeographic reason that is both a significant reservoir for the biodiversity and is threatened with the destruction. There is a famous cave that is Sezu cave is also known as the bat cave. It is a very important area for birds. Now talking of the protected areas are No Creek National Park, Balpakram National Park. Vegetation here is evergreen and semi evergreen deciduous forest, bamboo forest. Flora found here is Citrus Indica, locally known as Memang Narang. That is a fruit which has got the GI tag of India and also Meghalaya is considered to be the home to the mother of all the citrus fruit. Now talking of the fauna, we have red panda, Asian elephant, royal Bengal tiger, wild water buffalo which is an endangered species and the river flowing through is river Simsang known as Sumishwari, Ganol, Daring. The tribal groups which are found here are Garo related to the hill name of the hill that is Garo, Banias and Hazoons. So today in this video we have completed some more biosphere reserves and one more video is there to explain some more list of biosphere reserves and related information. So stick to the channel and keep preparing. All the best.